Hi, my name is John Wheatcroft. Um, I'm here today to demonstrate the recall delay and analog delay from GGFX. Uh, approximately somewhere in the region of uh, between 350 and 400 milliseconds is the maximum delay time. But uh, the beauty of analog delays rather than digital is that uh, it's less crucial that the delay time be in time with the track. It acts less like uh, specific detailed and, and very kind of accurate repeats and more like a kind of a halo around the guitar around the guitar tone so um, adds in ambient space and body but not necessarily um, needing to be super accurate in terms of uh, being in time with the music that you're playing so with this in mind we can set the delay time to general sort of ballpark areas like a long delay behind say a lead or chord sound we can have a short slapback delay in terms of like a, a rock and roll or country sound or, or anywhere in between so just for reference this is the sound of the guitar with no delay so this is a, a martin booth signature guitar i'm going to use the neck humbucker which i believe is a seymour duncan uh, jazz i think it's a seymour duncan jazz um, not coil tapped full humbucker into a dr z amp um, tiny little bit of reverb in fact i'm going to turn the reverb right down so not not uh, much reverb close mic to using an sm58 so here's the sound of the amp so with no delay okay so i'm going to turn the delay pedal on now we've got this set to medium long delay a couple of repeats maybe somewhere in the region of about half the volume of the original dry signal and it just adds a kind of a body and a warmth to the tone but without necessarily needing uh, for me to play in time with the delay with the delay setting <laughs> nice for kind of lush uh, atmospheric kind of arpeggios so you notice if I play very abruptly I'm going to play a real staccato uh, cut chord so you can hear the delays uh, very clearly. As the delays progressively repeat, it goes from being like a kind of a, uh, I guess you'd say like a, a, a click sound, but the vowel, uh, the vowel changes, it goes from being something that's quite uh, detailed to progressively darker. So as the repeats uh, unfold, it goes slightly darker. So here we go again. So what that means is, behind our guitar sound, it's kind of like an elongated reverb. take you through a selection of different settings starting off with uh, we're going to look in a moment at, at some like really long settings then we'll go to a short slapback delay and then I'm going to look at the delay pedal used in conjunction with uh, with the snitch pedal that we that we saw earlier which is a, a form of uh, like distortion overdrive device so how these two pedals work in conjunction the first setting that we're going to look at it's not um, it's not quite at the maximum delay settings, but we're somewhere in the region of about three quarters of the, the, uh, the, the maximum time available. But I've got the delay set at the moment to produce uh, a dotted rhythmic effect if I play in time. So here I've got the repeats at exactly the same volume as the original guitar sound. Uh, one real distinct repeat. So if I play uh, quavers, the delay answers the phrase that I play. So if I play a scale, 
kind of uh, uh, st like stuttering, uh, dotted rhythmic effect that, that's, uh, that, that's very popular and very useful musically. Yeah, Albert Lee doing a similar thing on the tune Country Boy. So if I'm gonna just play around with that for a moment, I'll play some, uh, some lines in the key of C. So maybe I'll play some single notes to begin with. pedal is uh, the, along with the usual suspects the delay time and the feedback the number of repeats and the volume of the delay we also have a tone knob uh, as it's an analog delay things can uh, can begin to sound quite uh, bassy it tends to emphasize the bottom end so sometimes particularly when you're playing in a band situation you can find that some of these delays get lost so uh, we have a tone control, the fourth control on the delay is the tone control, which we can use to emphasize the high end frequency so that this really pops out when we're playing in a band, so that you can really uh, hear these distinct repeats when you're playing in a, in a loud live uh, situation. One of the sounds that, that is most useful out of this pedal is uh, a very short slapback delay, reminiscent of those early sun recordings, the kind of thing you'd hear Scotty Moore using. Uh, with Elvis Presley and, and, and then consequently uh, other great players like Danny Gatton, for example, was a master of this effect. And the trick is to have just one repeat, but very, very fast, like so. So when I play, it creates kind of like an eighth note feel. So if I go, uh, I'm actually only playing half of those notes, so without the delay. sound so it's kind of like a, a, a combination of of uh, certain country styles like vintage country combined with rock and roll rockabilly those kind of effects um, so yeah so the trick to that is quite a short delay um, so very very short delay, maybe a couple of dozen milliseconds, not not much more than that. With the feedback really low, so we only have one repeat, but we have um, we have the level up high. So the the intention is is that the the repeat is approximately the same level as the original signal. Now one of the beauties of using an analog delay is it gives it that vintage, almost like kind of like a it's not dissimilar to a spring reverb uh, where we've got that kind of thickening so if I go onto the bridge pickup perhaps so it makes a very warm sound and even on the bridge pickup That's a very usable sound, uh, reminiscent of 50s rockabilly and associated styles. The next setting that we're going to look at is a much more, I guess you'd say like a general delay setting that you might use to add ambience and body, uh, either when you're playing chords. Or for single note lines. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to engage the uh, the snitch pedal, which is uh, a, a kind of a thick, almost tube sounding, to be honest, almost thick tube sounding distortion box, but with the level set relatively uh, moderately. So this is less of a kind of a thick lead tone of a of a, of a distortion sound, and more more like an overdrive sound. So without the delay. <laughs> with the delay. Now 
Now, it might sound like that's quite a lot, and possibly when you hear uh, the audio for this, when it's on, on its own, when there's no band playing, it might sound like there's a lot of delay there. Now, what you'll find when you play in a band situation is that a lot of that, um, a lot of the repeats and a lot of the, uh, the body of that sound will be eaten up by the band. Uh, one of the beauties of using an analog delay pedal is because you don't necessarily sometimes hear the distinct repeats. You just perceive it as size. And what I find is when I'm playing with, it, with, uh, with this pedal, I may not necessarily be able to hear actual distinct separate repeats, but when I turn the pedal off, I can really feel a difference to the sound. It feels like uh, it's gone from being a, a sort of a, a three-dimensional sound with space and uh, an ambience to being something that's two-dimensional and flat. But the beauty of it is, is that I don't need to be constantly on my hands and knees changing the delay setting so that I'm in time with the track. So it just comes across as being like, if you like sort of a super reverb for, for want of a better expression. And it's something that you definitely hear and feel when playing in a, in a band situation. So even though on its own, it, this is kind of an unrealistic scenario where we're playing just very, very uh, exposed with guitar on its own. When, if we were to bring a bass player and a, and a drummer and, and, and a keyboard player, for example, a lot of those repeats, you wouldn't hear them so distinctly, but what you would do is you'd perceive it as size. So, so this is kind of like, like big rock lead. If you like. The next sound we're going to look at could be entitled Stadium Rock Rhythm. So here's the sound of just the distortion and the amplifier. There's no reverb on the amplifier at all at the minute. So here's the dry sound. With the pedal. Another fringe benefit with this pedal is that you can create some otherworldly noises by uh, by cranking up the feedback and the delay times as you play. So I'm just going to play a single note and then manipulate the controls to create uh, some really unusual and very musically effective. Thank you. 